The tiny island nation of Japan provides many fine examples of what a country can do if it is not bogged down in futile wars and is intelligently governed. Taiwan, South Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, and China have copied Japan's model and have become extremely successful. The U.S. is a great country with enormous potential. However, mismanagement and poor economic decisions have squandered the power and wealth that previous generations worked so hard to create. To put this in perspective, this is how the U.S. compares with a country as small as Japan. Japan only has 4% of our land mass and is 90% mountainous and infertile. Japan has minimal natural resources, no oil, no coal, no iron ore, not even timber just fish. To manufacture a product, Japan must import all of its required resources. Even after these expenses, they have a huge annual balance of trade surplus with the U.S. and have also accumulated one-third of the world's savings recorded in previous years. Few Americans realize that Japan generates on par or higher wage rates than the U.S. The average Japanese family has a consistent yearly savings, while the average American family has no savings. Japan had a $51 billion current account surplus with the rest of the world in 2012. The U.S. had a $541 billion balance of trade deficit to the rest of the world during the same period. Japan must be doing something, right? Better planning, direction, and a more responsive government are keys to their success. They have learned a great deal from us and have improved on it. Perhaps it would be wise for us to study their improvements for our own benefit. Compare this to the fact that the U.S. has two and a half times Japan's population, plus much more land and natural resources. But we are producing less and importing and borrowing more while selling our irreplaceable assets. As of January 2012, the U.S. had borrowed over $1.1 trillion from both Japan and from China to keep our government running. The U.S. is presently relinquishing much of its manufacturing power to outsourcing. There are 74 Japanese-owned and 67 European-owned American corporations in central Ohio alone. These control a large percentage of the manufacturing in the region. American-owned manufacturing is becoming obsolete and second-rate. We are no longer competitive with Japan, China, Germany, and many others. The U.S. is the only major industrialized country that depends on foreign suppliers for large amounts of steel and other critical inputs needed by strategic industries. Every American should think about the direction we are headed in and the dangers and vulnerabilities we face if this course is maintained. Major changes must take place or we will face unimaginable problems and soon see an America that we won't recognize.